Hi everybody, this is Gail Vihar from MomandCamera.com and I'm here with a video for Pretty Presets today all about how to customize your workspace. Now this has nothing to do with developing your photos or making them look better or whatever, but um, it's a fun little way to make Lightroom your very own and I thought you might enjoy this today. So there are three things that you can customize on your Lightroom workspace. First up here you can set an identity plate to be whatever you want. Your logo, just some text with your name or whatever. You can change your font over here and the color of your font over here as well to make it be whatever you want. And then you can also change this little flourish over here on the bottom that um, to be something different. There are a few options, I'll show you that. So let's start up here with our identity plate. In order to change this, you're going to go to the edit menu and you're going to go down to identity plate setup. Now if you're on a Mac, this may be under the, um, the Lightroom menu, I'm not sure. Anyway, when you get here, you have the option to use a graphical identity plate or use styled text. So um, if you want to use text, just type something in. You click on the Use Styled Identity Plate and just you'll type in text that you want to use. If you want to use a graphical identity plate, which is what I've done here, then you click on this button and you're going to go locate your file. Now you'll need to have created a file or have a file um, that you can use for this. Um, Lightroom says that the maximum height of your um, identity plate here should be about 57 pixels, I believe. So whatever, it, the, the length doesn't matter so much as much as the height as it needs to be about 57 pixels. Over here on the right hand side, you can change your fonts to be different fonts that are on the, your computer. Right now I have it set up to be this VBOSS font, but anything that's on your computer you can change it to be. You can also click over here and change the color. So the one that's selected will be white here as I've done it, and the one on the right is the color that it will be the unselected module that you're in and I've changed that to yellow. So those are kind of your your different options. If you want to just type in something here, I could just do Gale Vihar and leave it like that and you see how that changes up there. So that's how you just do a text one. Um, you can even change the color. This is how you change your color right here to be whatever color that you want that to be. So the other th options that you have are to change your flourish over here. In order to do that you just need to go down to your edit menu and go to preferences. And over on the right hand side you're going to have something that says interface. Now the first section here is panels and you're going to, we're just mostly going to talk about this, but the end marks, those things over on the right hand side are called end marks. Um, your default flourish probably looks something like this then your small flourish and you can just scroll through these and pick, pick the one that you like. Um, if you don't want anything there you can choose none and it will show nothing. Um, I've had multiple different ones. I change this every once in a while just because I'm not very I like change sometimes. So um, I like this little box that's what I've had it at lately. When you're done you just click OK. And that's how you can edit and make your very own, um, make Lightroom your very own. So if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this quick little video about how to customize your interface in Lightroom.